Alright, sorry about that. Um, hello everybody and welcome to GMG Labs. We are actually, um, in the lab today. It's a bit messy right now. But, uh, yeah, anyway, as you can probably hear from the pleasant chirping in the background, I have my Geiger counter with us and I have the uh, scintillator as well, uh, off screen. Um, but I have a very fun, uh, package to, uh, today to, uh, unbox. It is radioactive. And it weighs about 20 pounds. So, let's get this. Just to uh, save myself some trouble. And so let's uh, unbox it. I have not even seen it yet. So, uh, this will be a new experience for all of us. So... Oh yeah, before I open that, I will show you that it is, in fact, very active from the back. It's some places more than others. Let's see. There we go, getting some stuff. Let me move that knife. And this is slightly shielded on the inside. Uh, I believe he said he used aluminum foil. So... It is pretty radioactive. Um, I'm not going to use a scintillator for this because this is just more of a proof of concept. Oh yeah. It was also advised by the seller that when I open this, I wear uh, nitrile gloves. Because uh, evidently on the inside, this thing is pretty hot. So, uh, you, you've probably already guessed what it is, but... On the off chance that you haven't, I'm just gonna proceed to get some of this out. Here, hold on. Let's do that so you can see it better. So here's some extra nitrile gloves that he included. Um, I'll leave a link to the uh, seller in the description. He sells some uh, pretty good things on uh, eBay for reasonable prices. So um, yeah, anyway, let me uh, get this out. See, it says uh, radioactive on it, so uh, good packaging. Um, okay, so pretty radioactive, and that's he labeled the uh, well, I, I won't say anything, yet, but um, rubber bands off of this. Alright, so let's this. Uh I don't actually know what this is. Um we'll look at that in a minute because that it says fiesta wear on it right there. So, uh, we'll see. Okay, so, uh, radioactive one, and uh, I'm not going to show you, show you that yet, because, um, from the video description, you probably already know what it is. Or I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep it or not. But, uh, let's open our bag here. Oh, this thing weighs 20 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. 
good to uh, save the uh, bags because I think they are actually sort of a form of uh, shield. All right. Um. Yeah. So uh, I'll go ahead and say what this is. Um, this is 20 pounds of high grade uranium ore. You can see the uh, label there. Um, mine and poison, uh, poison uh, canyon. Ah, I'm not saying it right. Uh, yeah, Poison Canyon, New Mexico, 2017. So, all right, so let's just see the uh, radioactivity of it now. All right, so this, the uh, packaging that's in it, is actually made for uh, shipping it to block evidently the majority of uh, radiation. Uh, I don't actually know much about this packaging. It's just literally pretty much what it says on the uh, thing. So. Oh gosh, this is heavy. <laughs> and he's also got it wrapped in uh, aluminum foil um, inside of it. So, uh, a lot of packaging to, uh, shield those nasty, uh, radioactive rays. So now, we're almost there. Uh, the highest count point on this, he was using a Bicron PGM. A pancake probe was 110,000 pounds per minute, and he uh, really labeled them. Now, I, of course, don't have a Bicon PGM probe. As you can see, it's quite hot in some places. It's Yeah, we're getting pretty hot stuff. Oh, yeah. So, okay, so he must have included a uh, piece of Fiesta wear. That was nice of him. I'll take a look at that in a uh, in a minute. This was a pretty large purchase, I will say. I got a good deal on it, but um, it was sort of an in-bulk deal. So, uh, natural, unprocessed um, ore, you can see. So let's go ahead and tear into it. Let's see what we got here. Let's unbox this monster. Oh yeah, I'm seeing the rock now. I already see a few marked areas. So, um, uh, this is a, a business card, it looks like. Um, okay, so. Yeah, this looks like quite the hard rock. Alright, so here is it. Here it is, the beauty. Ooh, nice little uh, quartz formation on it. Let's see if I can. So, hold on. he has a few areas marked. Let's see if I can find. Oh, there's some foil. Alright, so here uh, is the really hot spot. So, uh, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Hard over. Let's go to times 10 mode. I don't have a pancake probe, so uh, but I do have one that detects alpha, and it's not going to get nearly as many as uh, this was getting, but it's quite a bit, as you can see. So 
So anyway. Anyway. You see, it is radioactive all over. So, uh, yeah, I think I have a, uh, But, um, yeah, it is a oh, pretty hot little, oh, there we go. so not quite fluorescent, but that's all good. It is certainly radioactive, so uh, there's another hot spot right there, but, um, Anyway, very cool. Um, I might actually, I am, this is going to be the, um, I'm going to try to process this um, into your um, different uranium compounds. Uh, of course, not enrichment. It'd be pretty tough for me to uh, enrich. So, uh, yeah, he said definitely wear nitrile gloves because, uh, and be careful that if you rip a glove, of course, replace your gloves. But, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, very cool. Um, oh, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and open up this little Fiesta work thing real fast. Um, let's see what we got here. I have a Fiesta work plate, but it doesn't, well... So we're here on the plate. Okay, so what do we have here? We have let's see paper here. We have how radioactive is Fiesta wear? Would you eat off of it? With uh, thirty thousand with pancake probe it says uh, with a moderate level. So cool, very cool. There's that we'll need that at a little eat. Um, okay, and then, alright, so we have a chunk of Fiesta wear here. Very cool. We have a little paper with it. Alright, so, and of course I'll take the uh, scintillator to it in a moment. Hold on. Let me uh, find a place to uh, set my counter. And uh, this looks like little chunks of uranium ore, so, let's see what we have. And this is on times 10, so we're getting around uh, 5,000 counts. So, I did, of course, this is not a pancake pro. I need to, uh, I'm thinking about getting one very soon. But, um, all right, so that's that. Let's see what we have. Um, natural unprocessed ore. Uh, from Uravan, Colorado. I guess is what that is. So, um, uh, yeah, anyway, let's. Pretty, uh, pretty radioactive stuff. Not, nothing crazy. Um, let's see, it's in the bag here. It says to leave it in the sealed bag, but there's another bag inside this bag. So, uh, I'll leave it sealed inside that bag, because I fear. This is a pretty thick bag. I think, uh, a lot of it's the radiation being blocked. All right. Very cool stuff. Um, overall, I'm very happy with it. Uh, here, oh yeah, I'll do the uh, scintillator real fast and then we'll go. This was supposed to be a relatively short video, but uh, I guess it turned out to be a little longer. So um, I'll leave a link to the seller in the description. His inventory uh, varies between what he's actually able to get. But um, anyway, so let's turn that off. I'll be right back with the scintillator. Okay, so as you can hear, 
in the background is the uh, Bicron. It's already picking up some radiation. Uh, it's standing where I am, which is about three feet from the uh, rock, and I'm getting, and that's on a uh, times ten mode. So we're getting quite a bit off the rock. Uh, this is the uh, detector right here. I will turn off the uh, audio. Anyway, getting quite a bit hard over. So let's see what we get. This is on times 100 mode now. So uh, that would be 100,000, 200,000, and so on. Let's put this in my left hand. I'm going to put it next to the hot spot. Oh, hard over. So a very, and I, from here on I can't really detect it because my that's the maximum on my thing. So this is a very radioactive rock, um, which is why he uh, said handle it with a uh, with gloves. So of course we will be processing that in time. Um, I will. I'm still working on the uh, gamma spectroscopy system. Uh, sorry that's taken so long. Um, it's. It's, um, I actually switched the software from PRA to Thermino, or Theramino, I don't know how to say it, but, um, yeah, anyway, it's, it's slowly coming, uh, it's not the fastest thing, because, well, my, uh, laptop doesn't have a, uh, um, speaker port, so I've been getting different sound cards, testing them, some of them have been really junky, so I've been actually, uh, um, I bought a new one, a nicer one, that hopefully will have a uh, better effect on the spectroscopy system. I also got a uh, Cobalt 60 source, which on the gamma sp on the uh, scintillator also goes to around 500,000 counts per minute, which it's expected because Cobalt 60 is a gamma emitter and the scintillator is made for gamma. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please uh, like comment or subscribe I'm not sure i said that in the right order but um yeah i would i would be doing a video soon on uh processing this um and uh yeah anyway uh hope you enjoyed and uh i guess i will see you in the next video when we process this stuff so uh yeah all right bye